guys, John from SurfFX, and we're having a look at the 2025 Sky Style SLS. So SLS, uh, it's the super light one, and that's one of the biggest changes they did this year. This is considerably lighter, um, roughly a kilo lighter than last year, so that was a pretty massive change. Really changes the way, you know, that's a significant amount of weight. Changes the way everything feels when you're up and riding, so yeah, always positive to get lighter weight gear. Uh, they did that a couple different ways. One, well, this is a PVC wrapped Biax carbon board. And how you see it is nice and dark. That is because they uh, cut down on some of the painting steps. So paint adds weight, you know, if you, uh, it's a, a few layers to get it covered and that costs weight. Something else that they did to get the weight down, carbon boxes. So uh, the boxes are not plastic, they're carbon now. Duotones say that's 200 grams weight savings right there. So that's not too shabby to get the weight off the back of the board like that. Especially, you know, that's where most of the mass is with your foil ones attached. Uh, and the boxes are actually a little bit further forward. So some of the new wings from Duotone uh, like to run further forward in the boxes. So they, prototyping these, they actually shifted these uh, boxes a little bit further forward. So that suits a lot of other foils that like to be further forward in the box. So, you know, your Armstrongs or your uh, Advanced Plus Axis, perfect. Now this has always been a popular board for us. They've now got eight sizes. So they combined some of the little tiny ones on a Grand board, but they do it up to 95 liters. So big guys like me, we're set because uh, I can get a 95 liter in the top, top end board. Um, this, they don't say this is a beginner board. I wouldn't say it's a beginner board unless you're a smaller person. It, this is kind of your second board when you've been into it for a little bit. What you're getting out of it is a is it's the new shape on this. They've really concentrated on making the intermediate advanced performance easier. Perfect, so that's what we all want. We want to get out there and get more time on the water and have an easier time doing it. So. Uh, this board is designed by the Spencer guy, boys in Maui, the two brothers. They really get their head around shaping quite well now. It's thinner than last year. So they thinned out the, the, the board itself. So you're standing a little bit more in contact with the foil. Like, you know, it's nice to get low uh, while still having the clearance. And they've really kind of maintained the volume by going a little bit wider in the nose and tail. So uh, you can see here, it's got a fairly blocky tail on it. Now, what does that do? That helps the water release. It helps with the planing getting up, having a little bit wider nose, so it helps the stability. So you'll see here that it's not really a super curvy outline, so that the wide point is a bit more consistent. So yeah, you've got more stability in the nose from a little bit wider and wider tail to get the release and the planing a bit better. They changed the bottom contour. So the bottom contour now, you've got a double concave. When you add concaves to board, we get asked this all the time, what's the difference in you know, adding concaves and convex and stuff? So adding concaves to board actually causes water to accelerate. So you've got double concave in the front going to a very flat back to get the water release. So you get the front of the water coming off the front of the board when you start pushing or when you're coming down and landing a jump, it's just getting going again. It's really accelerating off the front of the board and then a quick release off the back. Uh, the rails, they've done that nice bevel they've had for a little while now, and that's just that softer, kind of having a little bit of volume, but letting it kind of push into the water on landing um, when you're doing jumps. So nice to have that feature. And, you know, again, the Biax Carbon with the PVC is strong. So, you know, these boards are, I'm hearing rumors that they're made in like the windsurfing board factory. So that would make them a pretty bloody strong board because windsurf wave boards, especially, uh, jump quite high. So you got a lot of features and little tweaks in this board. So thinner setup. They do have a little scoop deck. They had that last year with a little bit more volume in the nose and step back, but it actually kind of sets the board up for a much more neutral stance when you're, when you're winging. Um, and the guys are actually on the small sizes using these for prone or tow boards as well, but maybe a little bit thick for a lot of towing, but it gives you a little bit of volume if you need to paddle. So the deck grip, they carry on. They use, they've been using this corduroy grip for a while now. It's aggressive without being aggressive, that makes sense. Uh, climbing on some of the diamond cut ones tend to be a bit rough, but uh, this is about a five, maybe a touch thicker grip mill. So uh, yeah, it's a nice bit of cushioning. And it's got a real kind of scooped out, the whole side uh, has a real concave deck to it. So you kind of 
feel your center point in the middle, which is nice, without needing too much of a visual reference. Foot strap options, you know, if you're running different foils, you know, you're gonna have your foil in position somewhere else compared to the next guy. Really good, they've got heaps of options. So you can run them straight, run angle, run V straps, uh, which you got three different widths in the front. You can go front to back and same in the rear. You can have slightly offset in the rear or you can have a double strap, a double bolt system to have a wider strap in the back. So nice to have some options. <music>